Hi, I'm Dr. Teach from Recharge Clinic, and the media is a buzz today, and it's gone through this many times throughout my career that med spas dilute their um, neuromodulators, Botox, and Dysports, and so they're not as effective. So I wanted to take a moment to explain what that means, and it's really a misnomer. So when we get Dysport or Botox from the manufacturers, um, they have to be diluted, so that term is incorrect. As you can see, the product comes as a powder, so you can't inject the powder into someone's face. So what it comes with the recommended dosage and how to dilute it from both companies of how to mix it. So this is just bacteria static water, that's just sterile water, and they recommend the amount to, to um, dilute it with. And so we go ahead and do that. It goes into that vial, and so now it reconstitutes or it puts that back into solution. So this is what we call when we are really diluting the disc port. Um, we're actually just reconstituting it and putting back into a form that can be used. It is then drawn up and given in specific units. Now, so that's one of the things I wanted to address with. Very, I can't imagine any med spa would over dilute their stuff because their business would end very quickly if they were giving products that were ineffective. But there is one big thing that happens when people treat people. There's a very wide dosing range and Galdorma, which is, makes Dysport, and Allergan, which makes Botox, recommend treating people on the lower end and having them come back for touch-ups. Instead of being very aggressive, selling people a lot of units and blasting them very hard with those neuromodulators. So although some people want no movement and they think that that should be the treatment, the vast majority of patients do not want that. They do want some movement. So in order to treat most people and treat them kind of the correct way, we start with a lower dose and then reevaluate them and add more as needed. So I think it's a thing with expectations. I think that some people think that there should be no movement after small amounts of Botox or Dysport, but that's incorrect. In fact, the desired treatment is to minimize movement and soften looks. And if people do want a more aggressive approach, they need to discuss that with their provider or their provider should discuss it with them. And then we can do that. Or if they're unhappy with their first treatment, then we can retreat those program, those, those areas that are difficult. It's not really a double cost because we really haven't given the full amount or the amount that they wanted in the beginning. And we're, we're just using the lower end of that treatment to be a little bit more conservative along with what the company's recommendations are.